Hey my cookies, today we are going to be making some crispy and juicy southern fried chicken. Let's cook. Of course we need chicken. I'm using drums and thighs. Use whatever part of the bird you want. Just make sure you remove the excess fat and clean it. Then we need to make a spice blend. I'm using Cajun seasoning, some poultry seasoning. I'm using Chef Paul's Poultry Magic, some garlic powder, onion powder, Wait, I think the one before was onion and that's garlic, it don't matter. Some lemon pepper, a little bit of celery salt, and finally a little bit of paprika. Now mix it all together. That's pretty. I like those earth tones. All right, sprinkle half of this shit stuff <laughs> on the chicken and mix it together really, really well. Coat it well, get it all on there on the front, the back, and all that. Then pour on the buttermilk and don't be afraid if some of the spices come off don't worry about it it's cool that buttermilk is gonna suck it all back in there anyway just take this bowl cover it up and pop it in the refrigerator you can do it overnight but at least four hours okay now i'm using um self-rising flour because the baking powder in self-rising flour makes the chicken extra crispy so i'm putting that in my batter pro you can use a bag brown paper bag it don't matter a shallow dish whatever you have it's just fried chicken now i'm adding cornstarch because that makes it even more crispy we want this crunchy bird today all right my baby now add in the rest of that seasoning blend and mix it together really really well now we can take the chicken out of the buttermilk, give it a little shake, do not rinse, place it into your flour, your batter pro, whatever you're using, give it a shake, flip, whatever, dredge it really well in that flour so it's evenly coated. To fry my chicken, I have my oil heated to 350 degrees. I'm using canola oil and I'm gonna carefully place my chicken pieces in. I'm using a deep fryer. You can also use a pan, a frying pan. In a deep fryer, it takes a little less time. Dark meat takes longer than white meat to cook. So this dark meat took about 15 minutes in my deep fryer. However, when your chicken is done, it will start to float and also, you will hear a quieter sound from the frying. It will quiet down and you'll know your chicken is ready. But please make sure you cook it all the way through. I am not responsible for you eating some raw bird, okay? That's not Coop's fault. Y'all get it. And when it's done, go ahead and drain it on some paper towels or a wired rack. And cookies, you will have some good old southern fried chicken. The recipe link will be down there in the description box. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up. Until next time, look at this thief. We gotta eat. <laughs> be blessed.